Mayung Adlao sa Tanan. Today's video, we're going to take you for a close and personal of this all new 2022 Mazda BT50 3 liter 4x4 that is mated to a 6 speed automatic gearbox. And for this video, I'm going to take this Mazda BT50 4x4 for a startup and a full walk around review, showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior. So what are you waiting for? Let's sit back, relax and enjoy of this review. Special thanks to Mazda Iloilo, the team, and to their branch manager, Mr. Benjamin Jesus Buluso, for making this video possible. If you have any inquiries or you're planning to buy brand new vehicles from Mazda, you may head down to their dealership or you may contact them via the contact details located in the description box or to my pinned comment below. So here's the key fob. Let's go ahead and get started. The Mazda BT 54x4 gets a standard feature of a remote start as standard. To do this, make sure that the car is locked and then press and hold the start stop button on your key fob. To turn off the engine, just press and hold that start stop button again. Standard for the BT 54x4 is Mazda's smart keyless entry system. With a key fob in you, you are able to lock and unlock the vehicle by pressing the black button found in both front door handles. To start the BT-50 4x4, make sure that the key fob is inside the vehicle. Put your foot on the brake and hit this engine start stop button to fire up the engine. The steering operation of the all-new BT-50 is a hydraulic power assist function with rack and pinion type. For the topping range 4x4 variant, it's all made up with a 3-spoke leather-wrapped steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2, chrome accent at the bottom spoke, and mounted controls are found at the left and right spokes of the wheel. The BT-50 4x4's transmission under an Isuzu-derived 4JJ3-TCX 3.0-liter turbo diesel engine is a 6-speed automatic gearbox. This transmission is featured with a sequential manual shifting using the plus and minus on the gear shifter. A reverse camera with guiding lines and parking sensors front and rear are standard for the BT-50 4x4. Thus, both of these features will be activated once the truck is in the reverse gear. All variants of the all-new BT-50 gets only one engine choice and that is the Isuzu-derived 4JJ3-TCX 3.0 liter dual over cam 16 valves and a turbocharged inline 4 cylinder diesel engine with common rail direct injection, variable geometry turbo with intercooler, and it has an Isuzu's Blue Power technology. It produces 187 horsepower at 3600 rpm and 450 newton meters of torque between 1600 and 2000 rpm. Fuel tank size is 80 liters with the emission rating of Euro 4. In terms of transmission, 
the BT50 has a choice between a manual or an automatic gearbox having both 6-speed units. The drivetrain of the BT50 4x4 is a 4-wheel drive vehicle. Like the 4x2 automatic variant, the topping range 4x4 BT50 has the same range as the 4x2 in terms of fuel economy. This truck achieves 8.5 to 11 km per liter in the city and 17 km per liter on the highway. In that kind of number, there is an indication that this truck is not a bad truck to drive. The BT50 is Mazda's only truck that is offered here in the Philippines. This classy truck right here was introduced in 2006 which replaces the B-series truck predecessor and within a decade and a half, the BT50 was based on the Ford Ranger from the first generation to the second generation. Now on its third generation, Mazda is no longer partnered with Ford for the upcoming all-new BT50 until it was now a joint venture with Isuzu resulting in this beautifully gorgeous truck that we have here. Hence, this current generation BT50 is now based on the most reliable and heavy-duty Isuzu D-MAX which shares the same components, the same engine, and the same features. But what is different between this and the Isuzu D-MAX is the design and technology. So here's the question, is the Mazda BT50 much way better than the Isuzu D-MAX? Let's find out. For the current generation Mazda BT50 in the Philippines, there are three different variants that are offered. And one of them is the top of the line 3.0 4x4 and this will kick off the aggressiveness and toughness to its twin sibling, the D-MAX. How do we indicate it? To indicate this kind of issue, to its exterior. Unlike the previous generation, the all-new BT50 gets a sharper, stronger, and strikingly more aggressive look na sa tingin ko, it will seductively catch your attention. Plus, hindi mawawala yung kanyang sexiness ng Mazda because this all-new BT50 gets a Kodo Soul of Motion design language finished in chrome combined with a smooth and minimalistic LED headlights with automatic on and off function that shines up the road brighter than a diamond. Apart from its LED headlights, you also have a combination of a halogen and an LED fog lights in front which is a great feature for this truck that you've never seen in many trucks out there. As we go to the sides of the truck where you can see, it is clean and high class ang dating sa barakong ito which you have seen in many other luxury cars out there like this chrome side mirrors with LED indicators that are mounted and features a power adjusting and folding function, chrome door handles, aluminum side step boards with silver painted accents, and there's also a roof rail that are mounted on top. Fun fact, you can tell that this BT50 is a 4x4 trim with these kinds of features which is far more attractive than the lower variants. Lastly, the rear of the truck gets a clean look which Mazda designed this truck with simplicity at its finest with these beautifully designed taillights. The overall exterior elements of the BT50 4x4 is much higher class than the topping range D-MAX or lagay natin, LSE that focuses on a rugged side. The simplistic premium design of the Mazda continues to the inside where you can see there are luxurious elements that you have found in every pinpoint within the interior and after all this is a Mazda and we should admit that this is a true exquisite truck that you will get in the market. In conclusion, there is no significant difference between the BT50 and the D-MAX because both of these bad boys have the same identities like reliability, durability, and a heavy-duty truck that you can go on different trails in different places. Besides, these are built by both Japanese manufacturers na talagang maaasahan yan. But the main point here in this video is that the BT50 is way better than the D-MAX. As I guess, I think the BT50 could possibly be the better ones because of its technology, more premium and good quality materials all throughout, and its high quality free services under a 5 year warranty or 100,000 kilometers, whichever comes first. Plus, this BT50 4x4 is slightly more affordable than the Isuzu D Max LSE. Therefore, there is no winner between the two, but the reality is you decide which one you pick. Here's the thing. If you're looking for a badass motherfucking rugged truck like an Emo, then the Isuzu D-MAX LSE could probably be a good choice. But if you're looking for a truck with the qualities of an Isuzu D-MAX LSE, but with a high class quality of a premium luxury vehicle at an affordable cost, then the Mazda BT50 4x4 is one of the best choices.
The BT54x4 rides on 18-inch brilliant black with machine-finished alloy rims which are wrapped in Dunlop 8025 Grand Trek tires that measures 265-60R18. This truck gets ventilated disc brakes in front and drum brakes for the rear. For the suspension, the front gets double wishbones and leaf springs for the rear. 30.4 degrees, 24.2 degrees, and 23.8 degrees are the approach, the departure, and the ramp over angles of the BT50 with a minimum ground clearance of 240 millimeters with a water weighting depth capacity of 800 millimeters. Speaker, bottle holder, storage, mirror controls, central locking, window lock. Window controls, all four windows in this car are fully powered, while the driver's side window gets a fully automatic function in both directions. Traction control off. Little storage. Fuel door release, bonnet release. The driver's seat of this all new BT 54x2 gets a fully powered adjustments with all of your controls located right here. And what is manual for the driver's seat is your lumbar support. The front passenger side seat of the Mazda BT 4x4 gets a fully manual adjustments. Seat back and down there is your seat sliding position. All right. So let's see how this 3.0 liter turbo diesel engine uh, BT 54x4 sounds. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. The Mazda BT 54x4 gets a 9-inch integrated touchscreen infotainment system head unit with different sets of media connectivity sources and the sound system is provided with 8 speakers.
The stock sound system of this Mazda BT 54x4 works absolutely fantastic. It's very smooth and it doesn't make an unpleasant or unpleasant uh, sound of it. Very nice. Leather padded center armrest and underneath you have a decent amount of size storage area. As shown earlier, hand operated parking brake, storage, and a cup holder. You can use it as your bottle holder if you wish to. In between, you got your two stage heated seats, one for the driver and one for the passenger. Rear locking differential, um, your hill descent control, parking sensors off. Storage, shift to fly four wheel drive controls, 12 volt power outlet that has a maximum power of uh, 120 watts of power, your USB and auxiliary integration. Got your dual zone automatic climb control system with all of your controls located right here. Driver's side temperature, front passenger side temperature, air conditioning, recirculation outside air. Uh, different modes, off button, fan speed, automatic, front and rear defrost, and dual. Now, how this dual works? If you activate the dual mode, actually, you have controls for every individual sides. Like the driver and the front passenger. But if you turn it off, both sides have the same controls. Currently, you are in a Bluetooth audio streaming. With your current song title information right here, your artist, album, genre, song duration, go back where the song, go forward the song, play, and pause. Bluetooth settings, here is your Bluetooth settings. You got your paired device list, uh, add device, auto answer, rejecting, and this is your pin code. You can add your device using this uh, uh, system right here. Your sound settings. You got your fader, bass, mid, treble, and all kinds of stuff. Hit this button to go to your home menu. And for your home menu, you got your radio, Bluetooth, audio streaming, USB, and iPod connectivity. Hit this menu right here. Go to your phone, mirror link, and mirror cast. Go to your phone. Got your dial. Contact. Call history. Uh, and also your speed dial which serves you as your quick access to your contacts Mercast, as I mentioned before and to go to your settings hit this button right here and yan and this is your this is your system uh, settings get your system language clock setting uh, select time zone daylight saving uh, saving time device name mirror link keyboard and all kinds of stuff now for the display you got your home screen Wallpaper, uh, animation effects, image adjustment, Wi-Fi. Got your off. You can off the Wi-Fi using this uh, menu right here, and your Miracast. Lastly, your camera. You can enable or disable your uh, guideline for your um, reverse camera. And um, that's pretty much it in this uh, infotainment system of the all-new Mazda BT50 4x4. As you come down to this uh, screen right here, you got your button to activate your, I mean, to go to your uh, audio menu, volume controls, uh, go back button, home button, power button, seek track, and your phone button right here. This infotainment screen is flanked with two aircon vents. On top, you got your hazard switch. Tweeters on both sides. Your lighting indicator controls. 
on the left side of your steering wheel you got your um, volume control seat track and your uh, mode button that doubles up as your uh, mute button once you press and hold your unhook and off-hook buttons for your Bluetooth telephone menu voice recognition system on the right side is your buttons for cruise control and these sets of buttons right here corresponds you to control the multi-information display right within the instrument cage To the right, your wiper controls. The steering wheel on this car gets a manual tilt and telescopic adjusting using this lever right here. Central locking. Power folding side mirrors. You have your grip handle located at, at the A pillar for the driver's side that helps you to support while getting in and out of this truck. You also have a grip handle at the ceiling for the driver's side. Your sun visor with a vanity mirror and the light. Interior lights. Your sun glass holder. And your auto dimming rear view mirror. Your front passenger side sun visor with a vanity mirror and the light as found on the driver's side. Your grip handle at the ceiling for the front passenger side as well. So as the A-pillar, again, it helps you to support while getting in and out of this truck. Your upper glove box. And your usual lower glove box it is a good amount of size however it's kind of small enough to fit your items in all right So that's it for this. So that's it for this one. We can shut this vehicle off and continue with the rest of our review. speaker, bottle holder, and storage. You also have your window control. The rear seat backs can be flipped down by the strap located beside the center headrest. All you need to do is to pull it and drop the seat back down. Behind, you can considerably use that area as your storage wherein your toolkit and jack are designated. Meanwhile, the seat bases can be flipped up in a 60-40 manner. To do this, locate the strap on both sides underneath, pull, and flip each seat base up. Underneath on both seat bases are storages. 
You don't need to bother to jump in and out at the rear cabin of the truck because this truck gives you in every need like the side step boards and grip handles on both B pillars. In terms of space however, the BT50's rear cabin is of a decent size. I am 5'8 or 5'9, I don't know what my height is, but I have a good amount of legroom and headroom. Right now, you will enjoy the ride at the BT50's rear cabin with a nicely padded and comfortable leather seats. On the driver's side seat back, there's a hook that weighs 4 kilograms, and there are storage pockets which are found on both front seat backs. In the middle, there are two air vents together with a USB charging port and a little cubby. On both sides for the rear located at the ceiling are your grip handles with hooks, and in the middle on top is your cabin light that is flanked with two speakers. Wag natin kalimutan, meron itong center armors with two cup holders, and located on both B-pillars are your grip handles to make life easier for short adults. Open up the tailgate of the truck and you're greeted with a perfectly decent sized bed. It measures 1,495 millimeters, 1,524 millimeters, and 490 millimeters in length, width, and height respectively. Maximum payload is at 1,060 kilograms approximately, with a maximum towing capacity of 3,500 kilograms. A bed liner with tie downs are standard for the BT 54x4. The third generation BT 54x4 in the Philippines gets Mazda's active safety technology, which includes lane departure warning, autonomous emergency braking, blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, automatic high beam control, and forward collision warning. The rest of the safety features that this truck equipped are 7 airbags, anti lock braking system, electronic stability control, hill descent control, hill launch assist, rear locking differential, remote engine start, smart keyless entry, parking sensors front and rear, reverse camera, ELR seat belts in all seats, burglar alarm, and immobilizer. Thank you for tuning in of this startup and a full walk around review of this all new 2022 Mazda BT50 3 liter top of the line 4x4 that is mated to a 6 speed automatic gearbox. I hope you like this video and if you do, make sure you hit thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell button to get notified for my latest updates. And don't forget, follow all of my social media platforms. As always, I'll see you next time with for more latest videos on YouTube. God bless you. More.